Hi guys, welcome back to another little Geeky Reviews. This time we are going to go through the new Mattel Creations Rock On, the young heroic comic warrior. Comets from the sky bring allies in disguise. They've landed. Bring on the evil horde! Stonedar, Rock On, He-Man and Grizzlord figures each sold separately. Stonedar, Rock On, rocks you transform to surprise. Hey, Grizzlord, who's that? Rock On! Stonedar and Rockon, new from the masters of the universe. Action figures each sold separately from Mattel. Now he comes in this collector's style packaging this time. It's not all like glued on. It's one of them little like slip cases. So I'll just slide this out. <coughs> and you've got them there at the front, spinning down from rock form, opening up there. And on the back, you have got the full style. There's no cross cells. You've just got the full style artwork on the back. And you've got like little nods of probably what is hopefully coming to the Origins. You've got your blue Horjack there. This uh, comic cartoon, Leech, has just come out with like the Masterverse. But hopefully we'll get him in the Origins. And obviously Modulock there as well hopefully this year or later on or maybe early next year we will see stone dar and the other rock characters which is in the comic book the spear of eternity here you've got at the very end of the comic you've got the three of them there and also a little nod to she -Ra's castle so maybe that's coming next year. So the, with the uh, cartoon release, I think they're actually going in to the Princess of Power later on this year. So hopefully we will see those figures. So taking them out of his little slipcase, he comes with all the articulation that we've seen with all the Origins figures. But this now has also got it's not all fixed on the mold so the all even the rock formations all twist and turn as well he still pops off in the middle and i presume yeah his arms do pop off as well and also his head And also his boots. But it's all cut through the actual rock shielding through the whole mould as well. As you can see there, you've got those twists and turns. Putting them into his little rock form just close them all the way down so it takes a bit of time to fold them all in and get them in line the actual butt side of things you can still see there's little bump peeping out of there it doesn't cover his full legs the color of this one though it is real like metallic type of silver with just the tints of blue and on the art it's more of like a shock and blue rather than the silver but bringing the 80s version in you can see the major difference is that his head arms and legs are that shock and blue and not all silver and on the front side of things let's just remove that a moment so I think they've really hit the nail on the head there with 
the true reflection of what it was back into the 80s but his little ray gun that he comes with is just the flat grey colour because in the 80s it was that metallic type of one as well it's still got the little pegs that slide in his chest there and spins round and he's still got the little handle although it's a bit on the wonky side because of the actual rock clasp that's attached to his arm it doesn't really sit straight on it I suppose you can just adjust his arm and stuff but let's look at the 80s weapon now this has got like a little cross type of peg where this is just circle so I don't think no it's not going to fit in so here's just a little comparison as well for the height I mean they've really got the same similar height I'm bringing an origins in on the side you can see the height difference they are still that little bit smaller than the normal average origins as well but let me know your thoughts on this guy was this an easy pass were you collecting at this stage and now i've spoke to a few people and they've said they were going to pass on this one because they stopped collecting by the time um rock on and stone dar was actually released obviously i was still collecting them at the time so this one is um stone dar and hopefully we're going to see his release as well. But let me know your thoughts. Drop us those comments in. And while you're there, do the usual with the like, subscribe and tickle our little bell notification. But thanks for checking in on this one. And I will see you on the next. Take care.